kind of build off of you know the way that you see historical analysis playing out not only in just having a better understanding of what really happened but in terms of perhaps some of these culture war divides that we have going on in the country right now yeah so th- th- there's a lot of a lot of good stuff uh, to discuss there um i the the liberty versus power theory or the the the, the i what i call a theory as i said it's not you know, I, I, I thank Rothbard, but something that I try to argue in my book as Rothbard did is that this was actually something that not only older historians spoke about, most famously Lord Acton, you could say, but also contemporaries. So Bernard Bailyn, uh, who was the uh, dissertation advisor of Gordon Wood, another famous American historian. Both of them wrote on this and both of them uh, discussed that, you know, Americans back in the day, they really did see things through this lens of liberty and power, right? They viewed liberty as the source of all sorts of inspiration and uh, growth and flourishing while power was this cancerous tumor. It was literally encroaching on everything. It was corrupting. And that's why, you you know, this has been you see in in, uh, depicting a central bank as this massive hydra with all sorts of tentacles. Right. Uh, As the Jacksonians did, because they still they, too, viewed things in terms of this liberty versus power framework. It's important to note. And this is something I try and do in, in my book will show that, yeah, this theme, this is people actually not only did hold this perspective, but it actually is is a good explanation of why things proceeded or how things proceeded in the way they did. Because historians frequently try to look back on the past and sort of take maybe a current issue in the present and show, well, it actually has this long and storied history. So, you know, obviously a libertarian such as myself is going to look back at America's libertarian tradition. Uh, Someone who, such as Arthur Schlesinger, who is that historian you were mentioning, uh, who's trying to argue that back in the days of, of, of FDR, the New Deal. Well, FDR is really in many ways, uh, he can be his herit, you know, that this, this interventionist Democrat perspective, fighting for the common man against the entrenched uh, interest, the, the uh, aristocracy. Uh, well, he's really, you know, uh, Andrew Jackson is, is similar to FDR, right? And so that took Joseph Dorfman to say, well, no, Andrew Jackson, when he was fighting the, uh, when he, when he was fighting, you know, these large businesses or these entrenched interests, it wasn't because of capitalism. It was because they had various government privileges, right? And you see this with Howard Zinn uh, and other historians nowadays. So, cause uh, critical race theory is very important and the big 1619 project and everything. So you're going to look back into history and you're going to see, well, well there were people who are arguing our perspective uh, that, you know, race relations was this, this big issue and and all sorts of other stuff. And that's why America history is all doom, gloom and boom, so to speak. And it's important to uh, obviously, you know, respectfully engage the literature, at least as respectfully as, as, as we can and, and try and show that, well, that's incorrect. There's actually, you know, this is a much more uh, convincing explanation of what happened because there are parallels with the modern day cultural wars, et cetera, because people are always trying to look back in into history and sort of in order to support their their own viewpoint. So we do see, you know, the, the these themes of when it's not trying to look back into, oh, you know, trying to paint Andrew Jackson as a proto FDR guy. Now it's let's try and paint Andrew Jackson as some sort of genocidal maniac or, or whatever, which is which is not true. That's just a distortion of the facts. And it's important to really combat these uh, and to produce good history because history is how history absolutely influences our perspective on the present day.